as you can see, we're kind of in one of my dreamscapes, which is kind of like a desert in space. Yeah, it just feels like we're about to transport to somewhere. Pretty cool. <laughs> I've been reflecting a lot about why I really gravitate towards things that don't commit to any sort of shape. And for me, it just comes from my core value of just wanting to always have space to be whatever I want to be, feel however I want to feel. And so blobs just represent that for me and they make me happy when I look at them because <laughs> they're whatever they want to be at that moment. So this is one of many of uh, pieces of art in my home, and this one is actually made by one of my really, really, really good friends. And I actually made the frame myself. I really want to have a lot of pieces in my home that you can interact with. I really just want my friends to feel like they can touch anything, they can like smell new things. I don't know, just feel like you're at recess, really. That's how I would describe it. So. As kids, we like to touch a lot of stuff, and we know we're not supposed to sometimes, but here you can. So this is my bookshelf of fun. I feel like it's just really important to have things around you that can bring you joy. I made this like it was gonna be a rug at first, um, and now it's just a piece of art, I guess. But it brings me joy also, so she's there. And uh, one of my favorite pickups from a 99 cent store <laughs> down the street, so shout out to them. And I also have my projector here um, that I definitely get some use out of. I love watching movies and just like my family, we just grew up going to the movies every weekend basically and that's just a love language for me, different movies, so love the projector. This is my hand chair. I don't even know when I decided that I wanted a hand chair but I just knew it felt right in my soul having one <laughs> and so that was the first, one of the first pieces of furniture after my couch that I bought um, and yeah, it just feels appropriate in my life so we have a hand chair <laughs> and it's a black hand chair because I love black people <laughs> and so a black hand is what will hold my body. So we have my couch whose name is Penelope because I love that name and it's orange because orange is one of my favorite colors and it just makes me happy just sitting on an orange couch. She's very deep, lots of naps have happened <laughs> unexpectedly. <laughs> um, so yeah, it does the job. And also have some other art back here by another artist that I love, 730T. And I also made the frame for this one. Then we have my lamp here. I think I was bored at work one day and like just not feeling anything that was happening. So I just started hot gluing some pom-poms onto my lamp. And three hours later, we have this. <laughs> and then I just put some sunflowers in it because I love sunflowers. So now it's just kind of adds to the imaginative um, Willy Wonka-esque vibe in here. <laughs> Some of my favorite things about this space is my clouds that I made. They definitely transport me as I'm laying on the couch when my friends are here. That's also one of the first places after people take off their shoes, they're like usually run straight to the couch and like lie down and it really just helps me feel like I'm in my favorite place which is outside in nature. And yeah, since I can't have that all the time living in New York, might as well bring it inside because I make up the rules in here. And so yeah, I'm gonna have outside, inside. <laughs> okay, so now another fun part of my apartment are my rugs that I made with some really, really good scissors. Over here we have my plants 
and they all have um, unique names. And next we have my vinyl records, and these are also really special to me. All of them are black artists, um, so it's kind of cool to look at every now and then and kind of see just different eras of black beauty, and I, I just get really inspired by them. Okay, so we also have my balcony out here, which is really an amazing aspect. New York apartments, that's really, if you know, you know. <laughs> So next we have my mirror. I bought this like wooden crate and I ended up painting it, put some contact paper over it, painting it, and putting some uh, checkered, checkered pieces on it just to match the black and white in here that I love to do, so that's that. Here we have my altar and yeah, this is a really, really special place. It is a place where I do yoga in the morning, light incense, um, say affirmations, say prayers. One of my favorite <laughs> elements is my skull head there with a beanie. I feel like it just represents me because I love beanies. Yeah, it's just something that represents me, the shine, the glitter. Something I also love in my apartment is my dining area. This was probably the first planned out thing that I had for my apartment. With having a small apartment, I wanted to separate my dining and living room area. Um, so this was one way to do it. And then I took a step further with the blobs and wanted to kind of look like a portal was like melting out of the wall. But I wasn't about to paint the floor, so I, I, I made another rug that actually came out pretty sick. Yeah, I made this smiley face um, guy. I'm also obsessed with smiley faces. And as far as color for this, honestly, I really just picked whatever felt good at the moment. I love yellow, I've always loved yellow, so yellow chairs just made sense. I didn't feel like I had a lot of dark colors in here, so I kind of just chose this midnight blue. And yeah, that's how that came to be. And I love pink, so that's why that's there. Um, and then we have some friends. This is kind of my squad on my dining table. My guy Rob here. Sometimes he holds my sage and other things. Um, and then we also have Bob, and he's just also a good time. <laughs> Maybe he'll, okay, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we'll have like dance parties. And another part of my apartment that I love is my kitchen. I found out through decorating this apartment that I love cow print. This was one of the first cow print elements in this space. And yeah, I literally just couldn't figure out how to make the contact paper smooth on the entire cupboard. So I just said, let's cut it <laughs> and let's cut it into shapes. And so that's how this was kind of created. Also painted a couple of these pieces and then again just some more sunflowers and I really just like wanted to have elements in here that were not so one-dimensional and were kind of like popping out at you as you're interacting with the space. Another element that I love is the turf. I strategically wanted to place it here because just feeling my bare feet on turf makes me feel like I'm outside. And especially, I would wanna feel like that and feel that joy while I'm like doing something very mundane like washing dishes or something like that. So it's just another element in my space where I can create joy for myself. And here we have my bedroom. It is a place that is like super, super sanctuary. So it's super, super secret right now. <laughs> but maybe you'll tune in next time and you'll get to see a sneak peek. We'll see. <laughs>me started decorating honestly just wanting to feel in my own space I think for a while I was really wrestling with a lot of fear in creating my space however I wanted because you know I'm renting I don't actually you know I'm not, I'm, I'm not owning this place or this isn't where I'm gonna live forever and I kind of one day was just like bump all of that <laughs> like I'm gonna have my joy right now and I want to be able to have those experiences right now and to be able to like 
share that with the people that I love. So yeah, that's just how we landed on this dreamscape. <laughs> Thank you all for watching my tour. You can find me on Instagram at justatase underscore 